Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Tardy Grain. Um, it's just had a massive new update. It's great, there's tons of new stuff being added. And, and uh, I have a completely free gift for you in the form of a preset pack from the production Zevon. Now I'll, I'll be explaining exactly uh, how to install this piece. In fact, I'll be showing you how to install this pack. And the pack is, I'll go here, in the new uh, file management area here and the help section of MIDI. So we'll tap on this and you'll see it says all humble and users. Go to user and these are the patches from Daniel. I'll be showing you how to install them in just a, a, a short time. In the meantime, I wanna show you some other cool stuff. So the interface has had a, a redesign. <clears throat> You can tap on these little uh, dots now and it will show you you save here, you see, save. And this is where you load your patches. Uh, this is where you do your MIDI stuff. And this is a help. So tap on the little help icon and wherever you tap will show you a help section for that area. Okay. What else have we got? Okay. so. Over here, this is a really exciting place now. <laughs> Tap on this, and now you have uh, filters here. So if I just play this note, you'll see that this line indicates that the filter is switched off. No filter, you see. And if we switch it on, this is where you can choose the modulation for the filter. Now I'll turn it off again. Let me run through these so you get the idea. So. No filter, low pass filter, band pass and high pass. Low pass filter, let me pay the note. Okay, now if I want my filter to be affected by this movement here. All I need to do is switch this on and you can see that now My filter is now associated with that control. Now, if we go to this section here, this is our parameter modulation. So this is, let me change this to something like the pitch spread. And this is the amount of how much it will kind of um, be affected by the uh, controller. And if we go here, let me close this a sec. If we go here, this is newly designed as well. You scroll up now to get to the different controls. Now you'll see this is pitch spread. And I have that associated with that movement here. So that's a, 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 another new function. We also have yeah, an arpeggiator now, but it's, it's, it's a little bit more than an arpeggiator. It's, it's quite good. Uh, if we tap on it here, so at the moment, nothing happening. I'll play a chord. Hang on. And switch it on. This first one is tricky and you see it started to move and it'll be at 120 BPM, so. But we can also change this to arpeggio up. And we can, you know, we can make adjustments. We can control the probability and take stuff out, put some notes back in. Now this is the note probability. So you can then, if you've got this switched on, you're now controlling the probability of each note. And this is re-trigger. So re-trigger on first note, no. So if I play, it'll just carry on scanning through the ARP. But if I have re-trigger on, it will re-trigger from the first note every time I change.
okay another cool new feature let's switch off the rpr down as well random no triggers so next down is another new feature which is four lfos four lfos so how did these work well this is the lfo time and you can see each lfo can be take 10 minutes and you've got positive up all the way down to 20 milliseconds or all the way up to 10 minutes which is an insane amount of time for an lfo and you have four of those how to assign your lfos is really simple okay so let's just for instance you don't need to do this by the way but just for instance let's go back into our pitch spread thing and let's change that actually just let's switch it off so and let's close this and reduce the pitch spread open this and let's switch off all these uh, extra modulations for now and do the same for this one as well so we've got nothing that's going to be affecting so you can set the if you want to adjust the, the length by the way uh, you can drag here to adjust how much of the sample is going to be played OK, and this handle here will will drag the whole section for you. So. So say, for instance, now we would like our LFO to control, say. The. Let me close this a sec. This. One of our LFOs to control the actual shift length. OK. We double tap on this and it will bring up this and then we tap on this part and we choose LFO of A, B, C or D. Let's choose LFO A and here's where we give it the amount. So let's give it, um, yeah, let's give it about 61%. And did I actually switch that on? Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I'm going to go back into my... See, now I'm going to have to go back into my LFO A now. So, where are we? LFO, here we go. LFO A. And let's make it a bit faster. <laughs> and we've got different waveforms here. Random. And triangle. Now, if we go back and have a look what's happening. See? So that's how you sign an LFO. And you can do it with anything. You double tap on any parameter and you can set LFOs up. Okay. It's just... Epic fun hardy grain. So it has a new pitch bend. Um, I I'll, I'll explain how you change this in a sec. So the new preset pack. If we open this our little file icon thing here now, tap on this, and then we choose one from Daniel's pack. Or maybe another one. Let's see. Manipulate the multiplier. Maybe the grain shifted a little. Maybe we'll do it in absolute mode. Let's adjust the shift length. So you can have great fun playing around with them. How do you get these pack? Right, so this pack is completely free for you to use. So it's very easy in the description of this video, uh, below, you know, below the video in the description section, there will be a link. So let me just flick this up for you. Now that link will take you here. Okay. 
and this is the uh, free sound. So oh, everything on this page in, in La Production Zevon's, in Daniel's site, everything on this page is free. Now, if you right near the top here, as you see, it says 28 free presets for humble, humble tune, tardigrain, iOS samples. You just tap on this, right, and it will download it. There's not two, it's the PDF documentation is also inside the zip. But tap on this and it will download your zip file and I'll show you. And it will put it down the bottom here. <clears throat> there it is. It will it will put it there. Now there is absolutely no need to unzip it if you don't want to, but if you do unzip it, okay, it will unzip like this, and it means you can open it, you can load just one patch in if you wanted to. Use some of the samples or check out the PDF document, right? Okay. Cool beans. But if you didn't want to unzip it, all you have to do is long hold. Now, this is important. All you need to do is long hold and it will bring up this menu. Then you want share and then there's tardy grain. Tap on that. I'm not going to do because it it's already there. But tap on that and it will install it into Tardigrain for you automatically. Okay, so boom, there you go. And then all you need to do is go and choose some patches to play with. So I'll mute the microphone and let run you through a couple of the patches. and. I'll show you how this works as well in a sec. And like I said, the link for those will be in the description below so you can go and have some fun. Um, I, before I uh, run through a couple more patches, I want to just quickly show you how you can edit your uh, keyboard. So tap on this and you're in. I'm just going to lower the volume of that right now. So. You're in pad edit mode. So easiest thing to do here is this little dot here is major this little dot here is minor okay the little dot at the bottom are, is it like if a three note chord or a seventh 
or a scale. So these are basically our chord pads and you won't really hear this with that, this kind of sound. So we could change the sound out to, I don't know, whatever this one is, one of the vocal samples. And of course I've changed the patch now. So um, let's just, so like I said, right, before I get ahead of myself, three note chords, seventh, and scale. So. so that means that if you're playing a chord, everything you play here is going to fit in with whatever you've got selected here. Now, while you're in edit mode, right, you've chosen whether it's major or minor, let's change that to A minor. Okay, and it's we can go up and down like that and do it if we want to. But let's just stick to this. You can hold in the middle and then move left or right to change the actual root note of the chord, if you like. You can go up octaves and down. So when you finish making adjustments to your chords, etc., etc., you can just switch that off and you're good to go. And then you can save it. So I'll listen to a few more patches. So I think you'll agree this is a fan, fan, it's absolutely a fantastic update. There's tons of stuff and it's a free update as well. Uh, what's this pack 64? Let's just reduce the voices to maybe one or two, maybe add a little bit of uh, reverb, bigger reverb. I think I mentioned at the beginning as well, you can also access the help here and wherever you tap it will tell you what it what it is. It'll give you the, the uh, tutorial for it. Um. Let's have this go forwards and backwards and actually absolute. this down to one that's cool let's expand the shift length as you can see that the dots moving if i play a note with this hand sorry let's try and play a chord with the sample which is nice what else can we do here uh, th this is one of my favorites. Playing with the pitch speeds. Which is very cool. Let's just mute my mic again. Oh, just out of interest as well, on the volume here, right. This is overall gain. How tardigrain works is it actually every time you play it, it's playing two samples. Well, it's playing two grains of a sample. It's playing two samples, and this is the mix of the gain, the gallant, the balance between each of those two samples. It's playing. A lot of the time, you won't really hear much of a difference. Then, of course, you have your ADSR, but this is the important one: only gain. <laughs> So the idea is just go and have tons of fun. 
manipulating different samples. And we must say thanks to Daniel for giving this stuff away as a freebie. Don't forget as well to start experimenting with your new LFOs or your, where are we? Your new sequencer. Well, uh, arpeggiator. So yeah, you can also note trigger them different note levels. So some will be could be like, like um, quieter, for instance. Again, we could play with the probabilities of these notes actually triggering. So. And it's good because there's an indicator that pops up. And and this, like I said before, your trigger options are whether it re-triggers every time you play new chords or it just carries on tracking through. And last but not least, of course, your four new LFOs, which are awesome. Oh, and your... You can see again, this is associated with the vertical movement on the keyboard. Oh, guys, there you go. Uh, there's a general, I pretty much covered all the new stuff, but I'll, I'll quickly read it out. It's, UI has been updated, certain elements. You can, these, some of these used to be at the side here, but now you just scroll through and you've got a bigger surface area. Uh, added new note trigger sequencer arpeggiator uh, uh, for LFOs for modulating. A selected select set of parameters. All you need to do is double tap and you can then choose the LFO you want to associate with that particular uh, parameter sort of things so like the reverb or the mix or the whatever, or the, the note length, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, added pitch bends. Yes, yeah, so that's really nice, actually. The pitch bend. Um, added keyboard shift function allowing different root note. Added the ability to keep keyboard between presets. Um, improved preset handling. Uh, uh, adding ability to import export multiple presets showed you how to do that and exposing user presets in auv3 host as you can see we are in aum and we can see our user presets here in our aum browser which is very nice as well or you can just go in here say like guys it's tardigrade come on <laughs> it's awesome stuff and let me just check. I think I've got because I've got it brought up on my uh, screen. I'm just going to check. Um, the I think the price is really cheap. Four ninety nine, four pounds ninety nine p. Tardigrain. I'll put a link for it in the description. But guys, like I said, there will be a link to get the free pack uh, in the description below. Uh, bless you all. Thank you very very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. And I will see you guys later. Thank you very, very much for watching. Tardy Grain um, by Eric Sigfel. Humble Tune. Um, and it's new. Look at this resize. It's perfect as well. Look at that. Ooh, epic. Um, and, the, and the new features. And also, don't forget to go and grab Le Productions have on. Uh, Daniel's completely free gift to you guys. Um, if you've already got Tardy Grain or considering buying it. Super easy to install. Pff, job done. Guys, I'll see you later. Ta-da.